There is nothing better than fresh homemade pasta and here to give us an authentic Italian cooking class is Chef Fabio Viviani. Hello, hi guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Best known for being a fan favorite on Bravo's Top Chef and Top Chef All-Stars, Chef Fabio Viviani is also a New York Times best-selling author of two cookbooks, an owner, chef, and restauranteur of several restaurants in California, Illinois, and his latest venture, Sienna Tavern South Beach in Miami, which opens next spring 2014. Wow, that was quite the introduction. So Chef, I know that you were born and raised in Florence, Italy, yes. the home of the best pasta in the world. What is the key to making fresh pasta at home? Fresh pasta is nothing else than a few ingredients. It really is. It's flour, it's eggs, salt and pepper, and a touch of olive oil. So what I think we should do, we should show them the traditional way like grandma used to do, mm -hmm. which is with the wells of flour and your hand and you move it. But there is the Fabio's way, okay. which takes the, the headache out of fresh pasta in three minutes time without even bothering. And anyone have, can do that. Anyone can do that. All right, well show me the way that grandma used to teach you. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, we gotta put flour on the cutting board, just like that, create a hole a in the flour, well. a little well. And now we have a little salt right there and a little salt right here. Three finger pinch. That's oh. an important maneuver. Okay. And then we have pepper, a little peppercorn over there. A little sprinkle. Yes. Now, the other missing element before we add the eggs is extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil will help the dough to be really nice and shine. And now what we do here, we're going to crack two eggs. Okay. One. Thank you. You're welcome. Just so we're gonna break the egg up. Yeah, we're gonna break the egg up. And slowly and incorporate that flour. Correct. You gotta just try to add the little flour, a little by little, right? Okay, am I doing a good job? You're doing a fantastic okay. job. Now we're gonna add another eggs. You see you're losing a little bit of side of it on well, there? Well, I was hoping you weren't gonna see that side. I see everything. Okay. I'm like I'm like a big, <laughs> big brother. I see everything. <laughs> I fixed one. it. Right, you fixed it. I love it. So now we got a, another one. And okay. now it's really when the flour needs to start to get in, right? So you go like that. Chef, is there a reason why you don't use a fork for this process? Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. The, the, the fork, you can use a fork, you can use your finger, but then what about if I have to hug you or something? Yeah. So. Something happened. Let me, let me, can I dip my yes. spoon in your eggs right here? <laughs> <laughs> You're, it's not too bad, but it's not even that good. What? Yeah, you keep stirring eggs and looking at the camera and the <laughs> eggs are going everywhere. Now you're gonna understand okay. why my way after is gonna be All a, right, yeah, I don't know who would have time for this. Only grandma would, for Only sure. Only grandma would. And now what we do, we just gotta start to incorporate a little bit more flour in, and the wells get bigger and bigger. So now is the part that I don't like about pasta. And this is the really the only way that grandma used to do it. So you gotta just start to slap the flour. Oh, that's fun. You see that? So it's fun until you gotta figure it out how messy your hand can get. And you just gotta go like that. All right, so you just move it back and forth. Yeah, you just move it back and forth like that. Now we're adding a little bit more flour here. Okay. Your is pretty much perfect, just keep working that. If it's too wet, it won't go through the machine. Got it. If so you'll too, know right away if right. you didn't if add enough. If it's too dry, it won't go through the machine. Okay. So it has to be just right. So so the pasta is getting there. Now, do you feel uh -huh. that you're up for this every day? Well, no. Okay. <laughs> this, so, we're not even where we need to be. And I mean, how much pasta is this even going to make? Is this just enough for one person? Just you and me, if we go for dinner tonight, that should be all right. <laughs> what do you make on a first date? What do I make on the first day? Not fresh pasta. The first time that my girlfriend came over, I had to make risotto. Okay. Because risotto is sexy. There is a stirring maneuver that is perfect because if she wants to help... Then you can get behind her. You can get behind let me her help and you. let me help you. Nice move. You probably sound like you had risotto before. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I know that move. Okay, so pasta is made. It's ready. Okay. Look, look at this, right? You can Got play it? with it. It does not stick to your finger anymore. See that? So, <laughs> okay. this is a good pasta. We made a great pasta. The grandma would be I'm, proud yeah. of it. But, now... We're dirty, there's a mess. Yeah, once we clean this up, because you gotta scrape the counter, look at this. <laughs> you wanted this, you got it. <laughs> this is grandma style, okay? Now, if you don't mind, I'll show you my way. <laughs> okay. Let's get some wine. <laughs> Now, yep, I'm ready once, to make once pasta the wine now. is in place, <laughs> here's what we do. 
Every person you invite over is going to require one X. So let's say that, for example, tonight for dinner is just me, you, and the dog. Okay. Okay. So three eggs, please. Now, pinch of salt. Okay, three fingers. Always. Beautiful. A little peppercorn. <clears throat> just a little sprinkle. Go for it. And a little tiny bit of olive oil. Beautiful. Now, we'll give it a little spin. One finger technique. <laughs> okay. Right? That was easy. That was easy. Now, the best part. America teaches you how to waste time in measuring ingredients. <laughs> this is an American tablespoon, but mm -hmm. we're Italian today. Yes. So, Italian tablespoon is this. Okay. No just grab measuring, it. not scrubbing. So, do me a favor, since you're making fresh pasta. I'm going to channel my Italiano. Yes, nine Italian tablespoons of flour inside and count. All right. So just don't, don't worry about one. Yes. Two. Go for it. Three, four, five. And I love make fresh pasta. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Beautiful. Now, how easy was that compared to what you did before? Well, I think it's really going to be easy because we're just going to pop this top on, right? Pop this top on. Okay. And then we go like that. Now, wait. Let me show you something. Okay. Okay. Touch this one. It's a little too wet, isn't yes. it? Yes. So, if you touch it and it's still too wet, the principle of grandma fresh pasta still apply. So, let me add uh, two more, right? Okay. Because it's a feeling. Making fresh pasta is a liberal love. There is not like a, a perfect recipe or the perfect rules. Now, we'll turn it on again. As you can tell by these, the pasta is oh, getting there, right? Almost like little breadcrumbs. Almost when you like little breadcrumbs. Press crumbs. it together, so, it comes together. Yes, we're gonna okay. let these go right here for like another minute. It's very quick. Okay. And it try to go around, but it can't anymore. So at this point, you take this out. Okay. Oh wow. There you go. And this is so much more combined than. This one over here. Yes. Same pasta. Wow. 30 second, six and a half hour. <laughs> no mess. A disaster. You can have a job with this pasta. You can't have and a job. And the, best part, the best part about this pasta, you can have wine while you're doing it. So we gotta get the little machine mm -hmm. like grandma used to. Okay. And we can <laughs> crank it out. Crank it out. Now, I'm all about old fashioned beside the grandma things. <laughs> and this is perfect for pasta. So let me show you how. With a knife, you cut a piece of pasta, you open the two rolling pin to the maximum opening possible. Okay. And then you start to stretch it thinner. Get it? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Thinner and thinner and thinner. Wow. Now, we go down a little bit more. Okay, so we'll there. do it again. Yeah. I'm making fresh pasta. Yes, you are, my dear. Now, we're gonna stretch it to the point where so we like. So you're changing, so there's settings right here. There is a knob. Okay. There is a knob with numbers, one through 10. One mm -hmm. be the thickest, Okay. 10 be the thinnest. Got it. So now if you put it there, you're gonna have the perfect size for fettuccine. Uh. Now let's get this here. We're okay. good, we're pretty good. Okay. So now, so cut them in half. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to be a little fancy, you can roll this like a burrito. Put in some flour on it and oh, cut it with a knife yes. if you're me. But since you're prettier than me, <laughs> what you can do is to okay. go here. Fettuccines. Oh my goodness! Fettuccines are coming out from the back. See that? Oh, it feels so good. Fettuccine okay. right there. Cool. Then you get another one. Great. Oh, fresh now, pasta. You just made fresh pasta, honey. And what you want to do if you're going to okay. go for dry, you put it this, you know, a little flour. So it doesn't so, stick. Right, so it doesn't stick to it. And you just made the pasta here. Great. Okay, chef, so now we're ready to cook the noodles. We yes. have this gorgeous, fresh fettuccine. fettuccine. Okay. Would you like to add some salt to the water? Yes. Please. Whoa. I like that. <laughs> I, like that the, I like the intensity of it. Go for it. Beautiful. For another one. 
So now the pasta is gonna boil for just a minute or two. Okay. Just stir this a little bit, just gentle, to make sure that it does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay. It's important. Now, how do you know that they're ready? You gotta get one. And throw and, it on the wall. And see if it sticks. No, that's a legend. Oh. It's a myth busted. The way you gotta do it is to grab one like this mm -hmm. with your cute, sensitive finger. Okay. And just go like that. If you break easily, it's cooked. Oh. If you kind of have a bite and you gotta kind of press it, push it, still, see that? Oh. That's a little al dente. Al dente means to the tooth. Mm -hmm. Mean that when you bite, there is a little kind of grain in it. Still, it's a little hard and most likely will kind of stick to your teeth. Which I like it. It's that the way I eat pasta in Italy. But in America, they like it a bit a more cooked. A little more, yeah. So maybe just one more minute so that it's that yeah, perfect Yeah, one more minute cooked that is pasta. perfect cooked, still al dente. See the pasta is boiling right here? Yes, it's Very ready. Good. It's ready. Then we put it here. Look how fresh that looks. I have to try one without sauce. The way to eat pasta without the sauce is that you gotta add some parmesan to it. Fresh parmesan. Fresh parmesan, like it's raining. Grab one noodle where there is a lot of parmesan. Okay, this one I think. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Go for it, that's very sexy. Mm. It's good, isn't it? If you put parmesan before you put the sauce in it, mm -hmm. the sauce will stick to the pasta better. Look. Oh my goodness. And can you tell I'm Italian? Yes, I think that's good. <laughs> Beautiful. Would you like some pasta with your cheese? I would love some pasta with my cheese. Okay. Go for it. Mmm. It's a good looking pasta. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's fresh, even the texture is different from the stuff that you buy. In I the could box. eat this entire plate. Fresh homemade pasta, chef. That is so delicious. Thank you. Did you. It. You're thank the best you so teacher much. ever. Thank you so much for having me. And it's thank you for watching. I'm Brandy, and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar. Cheers. Cheers.